I'm John Alexandrov, and uh, it's, it's, it's amazing how uh, the topic that we're about to discuss right now uh, comes up almost daily in conversations I have with people or prospective clients or at seminars. It seems, again, it's a very basic question, but there's a complex answer to this. And again, like the last video that we shot, I could do hours and hours and hours of, of a video on this topic. But the, the question is, where does fear come from? Now, that is actually a great question because we only have two natural fears when we're born. Those fears are fear of falling and fear of loud noises. That's it. We don't have any other fears when we're born. Only fear of falling and fear of, large no uh, of uh, loud noises. Other than that, all other fear is instilled in us or we've observed something or we've been put in an environment where fear then takes hold of us. We become fearful of all, all kinds of things. Uh, fear of rejection, fear of, of ill health, fear of poverty, fear of, fear of success, fear of whatever. Those are all things that we've either observed or were part of our culture or for somehow, some way were instilled in us as we were growing up, but they're not natural. So it's important that first of all you understand that it's not natural to have those sort of fears. Now, of course, there are some fears that are in place that protect us, right? Fear of being burned. Well, that protects us. We don't put our hand on a hot stove or, you know, making sure that we stay in the crosswalk and we walk across the street and wait for the signal so we don't get hit by a car. So, of course, there are some fears that are there that are helpful, that protect us. But most fears inhibit us. If you read any of the great authors from years ago, uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, Wallace Waddles, Florence Scoville Shin, and the list goes on and on. They talk about how fear can grip us and how fear can hold us back from being the very person that we want to be or accomplishing all the things that we want to accomplish. And fears are just almost like irrational thoughts. They're thoughts that get in the way of us actually being, doing, and having what we say we want to have. Some of, there is, some of them are there because of protectionary reasons, but most of them are there because we've somehow, some way, you know, through our past experience or observation, decided that there's something that we should be fearful of. And there are all these wonderful like role models and athletes and politicians and, and great business leaders and political leaders. And, and they give speech after speech after speech about how fear is just a mirage. You know, whenever you can just, whenever you can address and move through a fear, that seems real to you, but once you move through it, realize that it was really almost always self-imposed. Every single time you break through that, you make a great advance forward, a great strive forward, not only for yourself, but many other people as well. So again, almost all fears are not natural, they're unnatural. And because they're unnatural, you can learn to disassociate yourself from them and detach yourself from them. I could shoot video after video after video on how to do that, but today the purpose of this video is to let you know that whatever fear you may have, regardless of where it came from, you can first acknowledge it, you can then manage it, and third, you can move beyond it to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish in life. For more information on that, go ahead and go to our website at reicconnect.com, stay, subscri stay subscribed to our YouTube channel, or give me a ring, 508-351-6652, and I'm happy to help you.